Welcome back to another episode of CAD Jungle. In today's exercise, we're going to be creating this object here. Let's get started. Create a new component. Select the top view. Create a sketch. Put it on the visible plane. Let's create a center rectangle. Make it a construction type. And we'll be adding dimensions as we go along. Select a center diameter circle. While construction is still selected. Create a circle. I'm going to give it a radius of 12. Right click. Select radius. And we'll make it 12. We'll turn off construction. Once again, select a center diameter circle, create another circle and give it a diameter of 14. Select the circular pattern command, select both circles because we want the circles to be on all four corners. Select the center point, give it a quantity of four and it spreads out evenly on all four corners. Select the three-point arc because we want to connect these two circles with an arc. Give it a radius of 75. We want both circles to be tangent with the arc. And we'll select it as follows. Select the circular pattern command. Select the center point, give it a quantity of four. And last but not least, let's select the three-point arc once again, attach these two corners. Select the circular pattern command. Select the arc we just created. Once again, select the center point, give it a quantity of four. Select the center diameter circle and add two more circles in the center. 150 millimeters and 160. And we can now finish the sketch. Select extrude command. Select the profile as follows. We'll make it 20 millimeters in height. Rotate to the bottom, select the shell command, select the bottom, we'll make it five millimeters. Once again, rotate, bring back the previous sketch we just created. I'm gonna select this profile here, the inside and the outside, after we select extrude command. going to make sure we set it to 60 millimeters and operation should be set to join. We can now turn off that previous sketch. Select the front view. Create a sketch on a visible plane. And let's create the profile for the lip. We we'll use the line command, left click, drag and hold to create the arc. and close off the profile. Make sure that this line is tangent with this arc. Let's measure this line here and this line with an angle of 30 degrees. These two lines want to make equal to each other in length. This line here, we want to be vertical and let's add some dimensions to lock this into place Thank you. 
and now the sketch is fully defined. Finish the sketch, select extrude command, directions to be symmetric, measurement whole length, we'll make it 36 millimeters. Make sure the operation is set to join. Select the fillet command. Select the faces as follows. We'll give it a measurement of three millimeters. Let's bring back the previous sketch. You can select extrude command. So let's select the inside profile, left click and hold, select profile, and we'll set the distance to all. And we can now get rid of the sketch here. Select the top view, create a sketch on the visible plane. Let's select a two point rectangle. We'll make this side three millimeters. And we'll make the length 55 millimeters. Select the midpoint constraint. Select this edge here. Select this point here. It's locked into place. Once we finish the sketch, select extrude command. We'll simply just press the E. And we can rotate this up and we want the distance to be all. Let's select the whole command. We'll put a hole on this face here. Make sure we select the center point. We're gonna add a parameters as follows. Select the whole command once again, select this face. We we'll drag it till it snaps into place with that center point. This time we want it to be tapped. And the distance, once again, we'll set two on the inside. We don't want it to be counter bore. The profile we're gonna set for the threads, is gonna be eight millimeters. Add the final fillets, select this edge here, select the face on the inside and select the edges. I'm going to also set these three. and the exercise is complete. Well, I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. Stick around and I'll see you in the next video.